What's up, guys? Tuam Biz. We're back. We're back. Uh, we did Game Room. Let's do CRT. So, I do live in Hollywood. Um, so, I've had access to a lot of these things. Um, every single one of these that you see, I picked up locally <clears throat> within... 20 miles, um, nothing ever shipped, um, these have all been basically stationed here, they were used in various production companies and studios, um, and so yeah, there's some good provenance there, um, let's just go through it, um, you know, I think GDM FW900, um, graphical display monitor, you know, it's one of the, the holy grails, right, I think, Everyone talks about this one. Um, the tube is actually a D twenty four E one tube, so you can you can replace it. So um, from talking to various people, it seems like a lot of people like that option of it. Um, I've you know I think the, <laughs> the Dreamcast is what most people would think about. You know, hooking this up VGA, um, it's pretty impressive. Uh, down here. We got the Panasonic ATH3015. So this one I actually got from the, the studio in Burbank. Um, it hadn't been used for probably about 10 years. Um, been sitting in, in a climate-controlled storage unit. Um, apparently it had been used in some actual movies that were released. Um, Eye of the Typhoon was a 2007 like kind of indie, but it's on Wiki. Um, the guy told me who I bought it from that they actually used this specific monitor to do kind of the final editing. Um, it was like a $30,000 monitor when it came out. Um, it's, yeah. This guy, well, I didn't buy this one, but it's a little Kobe CRT. Um, found it on the side of the road. Someone was throwing it out. It still works. Um. I like it because it has the coaxial and RCA connections, and it's just like something easy when I get a new system or something. You just want to hook it up and make sure it works, right, before we figure out all the the crazy connections to get us into 240p, right? So this guy down here kind of might look like a PVM 14L5, but it's actually a BVM D14H1U. Um... They didn't have the 129X card, um, but I actually just did see a video. Apparently, the people have been able to clone it, so I don't know. But I mean, I, I paid like five bucks for this thing. I'm not even kidding. Um, iMac CRT all-in-one. I did a video on this. Found it on the side of the road. Works pretty cool. <laughs> uh, all right, well. Probably the holy grail of CRTs, the infamous Sony BVM D32E1WU. Um, when you put it up, it actually it shows about, I think it's just 50, 50 or 60,000 hours, but the tube was definitely changed out, um, and obviously I've done a lot of videos on this, so you can see the qualities there, it's still nice, um, colors pop, what a corker. Alright, this is actually what I've been kind of using, though, more recently. Um, this is just a D24E1WU. Uh, I picked this one up actually directly from Save on Pat. So I've met Save on Pat. He lives in Huntington Beach. So um, been down there, saw the shop, saw I saw the setup. It's the, it's the real deal. Um, yeah, so these are kind of what I've been playing. You know, CDX, a really big Sega CD guy, Saturn, Jag, PC Engine, Super Graphics. Um, actually, my 3DO is RGB modded too, so these are all outputting SCART 240p. Um, PBM 1954 q This one I got really local. Um, the guy actually did some recap it even. Um, Screen has a little ding, but it's very, you can't really notice it unless you're really hawking it. Um, one of the first ones I got, it's really nice. Um, I really like this one. 
I would say, you know, if you're looking, I think you can still get it for a decent price, um, even on eBay. I would say, you know, check a look at this, because it can do a lot of things. You know, it's an HR, right? So it's not just the regular, you know, if you look at some of the one we're going to get to next, coming up here, you know, it's not a HR one, but this one actually has the high resolution stuff, so pretty cool. Um, and then we got two more D24s. This one actually has the 14H stand, but the stand's a little bit whacked out. It's missing like some pieces, and then hit the that one down there has got about seventy-five thousand hours on it, so it's it's old. But I paid like nothing for it. Um, it looks a, the you can see a little bit of flicker, so it's probably could be heading on its way out. But you know, we'll just hold it and sell it for parts if nothing else. Um, this is a PVM fourteen. It's a six in you, maybe the five or the six. Um, again, I got this one from Save on Pat. Um, it's really nice. I kind of like this one. Um, looks good for laser active and Philips CDI because these things actually haven't been RGB modded, so it actually looks decent. Um, and then some of the just final finish up here with the big corkers. Um, PVM 2950Q. Um, Picked this one out from a guy. He actually had so these are remotes that I think this was the original one he said, but he, it wasn't really working. But he was able to control it with with this one. Um, it actually has the speakers, so there they are. Um, I did a video, a couple of videos on this. Um, this one was probably my favorite before I got the D32. Um, I might even like this better than the D24, which a lot of people may think it's crazy, but if you checked out my early videos on like Lords of Thunder and Aldines and stuff, I mean, <laughs> the condition of this thing is great too. The everything was great. The linearity and the geometry is just perfect. Um, wow, this is probably one of the unicorns, right? So PVM thirty two thirty. Um, we all know the PVM. What is it? Forty three something. Like, has there actually ever been a picture of that? Like, I think we've only ever seen the manual scanned, right? I mean, that thing. Who knows? But this one, I did pay a good amount, um, but it has super low hours. Everything is perfect with it. Um, if you can find this, like, this is, I honestly would say this could be the king of retro. I mean, you know, we're talking pre-HD. This wasn't in HD, so you're not going to get that. Same with this, but you're going to get absolutely ridiculous 240p out of that. Um... So those have all been Sony's. So obviously Sony was the big guy, but there's other companies, right? I think, you know, NEC did some, so the XM, XP. I got the XP29 Plus. Um, it's a little bit wonky. It's not the best. Haven't actually hooked it up in a long time. Um, and then down here, the classic, the 2530. So I, don't, I have the 2530 and the 32. I don't have the 2030, but... This guy was actually one of the first ones I got, too. Um, actually had the guy who was able to deliver it to my house. He lived, like, down the road from me. Um, it uses the weird kind of seat MPTR computer connection. So if you know about Wookie Win on eBay and all his cords, like, he made a special one for these models. This one actually takes BNC, but the two smaller ones are this weird connection. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's all right. I Again, the, it's a little bit warped. These, one, these two I definitely would, out of all the ones I have, like I'd say these two are the ones where I need to invest in a recap. Um, and finally, I just actually got this. I got this from the same guy who I got the Panasonic. Um, it's a JVC DTV1900CG. Um, pretty nice, 900 lines. Um, really nice quality. Again, it's just been chilling in a storage unit. You guys don't even want to know what I paid. Uh, yeah, here it is, though. So, you know, fair amount. You've probably see me post on the Facebook groups and all that. But uh thought I'd get a video. Um, yeah, so cheers, Twombiz.